Welcome Snack Tackers, my name is Jason and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all the fun YouTube stuff, and let's get to talking about this product. Now, you guys know that I am very willing to try pretty much anything new, but this one was kind of hard for me. Let's get the box out and I'll tell you why. These are the brand new Del Monte Veggie Full uh, Pocket Pies. Whoop, can't see that. Now, Del Monte released a bunch of flavors. I wish some of them were on the back or I wish I'd taken a picture. But, like, none of them was I willing to try. Broccoli and cheddar, sweet potato and something else, kale and spinach. That's definitely not it. But they all had stuff that I didn't like. This is the only one I was willing to try, and so it took a while to track it down. Now, the crust is made with cauliflower. The P Philly cheese steak is plant-based. Plant-based. So I do believe this is vegetarian, but not vegan, because it does have provolone cheese. So this is vegetarian, not vegan. It's also gluten-free, because the crust is made with cauliflower. Now, we have been on this channel enough to know how we feel about cauliflower alternatives. They have to be really good to work through them being cauliflower. This was purchased at Woodman's for $3.69. And like I said, they came out with a bunch of flavors. This will be the only one I'm going to review. I'm going to state that up front. I'm not going to do the bro broccoli and cheddar. I'm not going to do these other ones. This is the only one. So it's, I guess, more like a test proof of con test of test of proof of concept. However, health-wise, despite the fact that these are plant-based Philly cheesesteak, 260 calories per um, pocket, total fat 13%, saturated fat 23%, sodium 20. So not, not super health, not much healthier than a hot pocket, I imagine. This is what it looks like. It's very hot. It smelled like cauliflower in the beginning. It smells a little like cauliflower now. As it was cooking, it smelled a little bit like hamburger, like cheeseburger, which I was super excited for. I'm going to get a knife because I'm going to cut it in half because so you can see a little cross section. It would probably be a funny bit if I had the money to come back with like a different like terrible gas station knife every time I say I need a knife and just like struggle through it. But I don't have the kind of funds for that. Inside looks kind of like a Hot Pocket. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can tell. Smells... Smells promising. There's a hint of cauliflower, but there's something that generally, genuinely smells like Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I said entirely what's inside here. It's made with plant-based beef, bell peppers, onions, and provolone with a cauliflower crust. Gonna check real quick if the... Yeah, not listed. I, I, sometimes they like do a partnering to make the, um, like, what they they say what kind of plant based beef it is. That's doing the Retin Link lip test to see if it's too hot and I'm gonna burn myself. No, it's fine. Let's give this a try. Three, two, one. Snack attack. That's good. There's a little hint of cauliflower, but it tastes like a Philly cheese hot pocket. That being said, a few things you gotta know. It does not come with a crisper sleeve, so it is soft. There are instructions on how to cook it in the oven. If you did that, this would be amazing. Honestly, it really would. As it is, it's okay, but without a crisper sleeve, it's just very soggy. Mmm. Wow. That tastes uncannily, just like a, a cheap Philly cheesesteak, which is, you know, what Hot Pockets kind of taste like. This is really, really good. 369, I don't think that's any much, or like, much more than a Hot Pocket. Let me check real quick. Hot Pocket. Okay. So, um... It's about $3 for Philly Cheesesteak Hot Pockets, which comes with two in a package just like this does. This is a little bit more, but not huge market uptick like the Guardian Soup was. This is, this is really 
really manageable. And it tastes absolutely fantastic, surprisingly. This is getting a snack attack, yes, for sure. Out of 10, I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I struggled to decide if I was going to make this video or not because um, all my vegetarian and vegan videos products get like the least amount of views. So I was like, mm, do I want to do this? But I think this is interesting. Del Monte is always doing interesting things. And this is, this is good to know if you have a gluten allergy or if you're vegetarian, that there are some really fantastic alternatives that are coming out. Uh, but the question we asked around here is not, should I, do I now have to try the broccoli and cheddar? I, I've only had broccoli like twice in my life. And I feel like I gotta go get it now. I said I wasn't going to, but I feel like I gotta. No, the question we asked around here is, would you buy it again? And as I've said with all these Woodman's ones, which as you can tell, I basically went to Woodman's and stocked up on my cart. Because I don't go very often. I have not seen these on shelves at my local Mariano's or my local Julasco's. If I do start seeing them on my shelves, I would absolutely buy these again. These are fantastic, and I would love to compare their nutritional information with the Hot Pockets one to see if they are a little bit healthier. At the very least, you are getting um, probably a full serving of veggies or like half a serving. I don't know. A lot of iron and a decent amount of protein, 10 grams. So at the very least. Uh, but remember to check Instagram, Twitter, all the vegetarian and vegan ones are always less funny too. I, I like make less jokes because I have to like seriously evaluate it. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.